Hello friends, welcome back. You are watching the Retail Apps. My name is Dilip. In this video, we will learn how to create a beautiful 3D infographics in Excel. Here you can see that I have already created a beautiful infographics in demo worksheet. And the data for this beautiful infographics is here. So it's basis the like uh, journal performance, sales performance data. Like, so North has 80%, South 75%, East 50% and West 60%. So here you can see that in this chart on uh, the dark field curve showing uh, the data the sales performance and the the box which is not filled is showing the deficit value that is not meeting the target okay and this is very beautiful you can see that if you compare with the uh, column chart then this is like uh, very beautiful and it's eye catching right so you can use this infographics in your dashboard or in your reports even in, in your powerpoint presentation and it will uh, leave a good impact on your audience okay and it will uh, enhance the beauty of your report as well so let's move to exercise worksheet and prepare this chart from scratch so uh, to prepare this chart we need to plot some data so let's uh, plot this data like so like uh, first will be zone and then uh, the second column will be uh, bottom and the third column will be sales that is sales percentage okay and deficit deficit okay so zone will be north south east west okay and the bottom uh, will be uh, so we are considering an extra column uh, like uh, to prepare the bottom like here you can see that the silver filled uh, box showing north south east and west and that is fixed always fixed that's why we are considering 20 percent okay so uh, let's enter 20 percent and fill this now enter the random value for cells like i am entering 7 80 percent then again 75 percent then 65 percent and then 90 percent these are the random values okay so you can uh, replace this value with your uh, actual performance data now deficit so uh, as the target is 100% so we need to uh, find out the deficit what is the deficit so to do this just uh, like with 100% minus the sales performance okay done so let's change the format so our data is ready uh, so what we need to do we need to uh, select entire data uh, like do not include the header part so just select the data go to insert tab and then column and in 3d section just select this one 3d stack column chart right so once you click on this chart uh, like uh, the beautiful stack column chart will appear on your worksheet so let's resize the this chart so go to format tab and then enter 3.39 3.39 and the width is 6.04 so i am trying to replicate the same format which uh, we have used here so you can create uh, the like you can give the size as per your uh, requirement or the uh, like space available in your now uh, graph uh, in your dashboard or in your presentation right so let's uh, right click on this one uh, so vertical axis go to format just remove this maximum and keep this as minimum zero and maximum it should be 1.2 because we are considering 20 percent extra for base so that's it done so what we need to do uh, what we are doing here we are fixing freezing the zero like minimum value and maximum value so that uh, chart uh, does not change their value automatically okay so just uh, close the format axis now uh, we need to remove the axis and the legend and uh, the lines okay so to do this we just click on plus icon then uncheck the axis then grid lines and legend okay it's done. now uh, just uh, go to demo worksheet now we need to fill 
the bottom as silver color so let's go to exercise worksheet then click on this right click format data series and in format data series just click on fill and line and in fill and line right fill go to set gradient field in gradient field uh, keep uh, like type as linear angle as zero okay so right and and uh, for like uh, the base we need to uh, give the gradient stops uh, four stops so each uh, like first one is on zero percent second one is on 25 percent so let's move to 25 percent okay and the third one should be 75 percent okay done so we have four gradient stops okay so what we need to do we need to uh, change the color of all the gradient stops so let's click on the first one and again fill color and then give the first this like white background one darker 50 percent okay and the second and the third will be the fourth one so let's select second go to this one again fourth one so white background one darker 15 percent right same goes with the third one as well perfect and the fourth one is just click on fourth one then go third. okay so now we have uh, given the color the required color you can match this with this one so now we have created uh, we have uh, filled the color for base so we need to uh, fill the change the color for each and every cells conversion size like showing this part right so what we need to do we need to uh, just select the first one go to again uh, format data points and gradient fields and for this we need to create uh, three gradient stops right so just remove the uh, third one drag and okay so we have three gradient uh, stops so what we need to do we need to uh, assign the color so just first one go to this and we need to give the green color so that will be the first one just again second go to this and what you need to do we need to uh, provide the second this one okay and again click on the third one that is last and the dark one this one okay so we have filled the color with the required gradient colors again uh, do the same for this one like uh, but we need to uh, like give the automatic color rather than gradient fill so we go to like format data series again uh, fill line then automatic just you can click solid fill then select the green accent six okay and increase the transparency to 50 percent perfect so we have done for the first that is not do the same for uh, south as well so this one go to again format gradient stops as we have already three stops so there is no need to create uh, the stops what we need to we need to change the color of each and every stops so now we will consider blue color so select first one go to this color and select the blue color okay second And we have done this one sales percentage now we need to consider need to fill the color for uh, deficit part as well for south okay so go to solid fill and here use select the blue accent 5 and as transparency is al already 50 percent so leave it as it is okay so now we need to change the uh, uh, sales like uh, the color for sales for east so just double click on this go to Format data point, fill and line, and then gradient fill, and then as we have already three stops, so we need to change the color only. So this one, bold accent four, darker fifty percent, and the second gradient stop, gold accent four, darker twenty five percent, and the third, gold accent four, darker fifty percent. 
so we have filled the color for east sales percentage now we need to do for deficit as well so only for this go to like format data point again fill in line then solid fill and go and select this one gold accent code perfect so we have only one left that is the west so just double click on uh, the sales performance for west and go to format data point and gradient fill and again change the color of each and every stock okay so orange accent 2 darker 50 percent the second will be darker 25 percent and the third will be again darker 50 percent select the deficit part go to the commenter points solid fill and select orange accent 2 now we have done with the uh, required uh, gradient fills and transparency on the base so what we need to do we need to assign the label for each and every column and uh, the base uh, which is like June uh, for each and every uh, column okay and as well as the chart title okay so let's give the chart title journal sales conversion YTD 2018 so just double click on this So let's uh, change the font name and size as well. So go to home tab. Perfect. Just align this. Now we uh, we need to give the label for each and every base. So just click on this go to add data label and again uh, like click on plus icon and data label and more options okay in more options click on label option and then value from cell then north south east and west so uh, we need to con uh, select the label so north south east and west click on ok just uncheck value and show the line this one okay so and uh, uh, what we need to do we need to give the same font which we consider for chart title so just click copper perfect just keep the same size that is nine north south east and west and now what we need to do we need to give the data level for sales performance so just click on uh, the sales performance and go click on plus icon then data labels okay go to a font and change the font to copper plate this one right just increase the font size to 11 and give the font color as white perfect so now we have created the sales uh, uh journal sales conversion ytd 2018 infographics so here you can see that uh, this chart is ready so what we need to do let's uh, change the performance number sales performance number and see whether the columns uh, gets changed or not so i'm giving uh, 60 percent right you can see that it's working 30 percent 97 percent and 50 percent so friends it's working and it's very beautiful and as you uh, see that it's very easy to create this chart so go and try this uh, chart and use in your dashboard and in your report and even in your presentation so so here i want to give you one tip to you like uh, if you want to create so uh, suppose you want to create uh, this uh, chart on various type of data so what do we need to do we need to do we need to put effort again and again okay that will be the time killing okay so what we need to do if you think that this chart is uh, like very beautiful and uh, you should use uh, this chart again and again so rather than spending time uh, in creating this chart again and again you can create the template so uh, to create the temple templates just click on uh, the chart and uh, select save as template here you can see that uh, save as template so there will be a window here, here you can uh, 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 save your chart as a template so i am given giving 3d 3d infographics and column chart 
column chart right so uh, our uh, we have uh, uh, saved this uh, chart as a template so whenever you need to prepare this chart then just uh, select the data go to insert tab and then again click on chart the chart which we used now click on this change chart type and in, char in change chart type you can uh, see a template like here beautiful uh, this one 3d infographics available just click on this and okay so uh, this chart will be ready what we need to do only is just providing the data level so font color font size and each and everything is same as the uh, like uh, which we used in the actual chart we this one okay so just uh, seeing the chart titles give the data levels and here and your chart will be ready so it's a very beautiful tips you can use uh, this this tip for uh, like for any chart which you are creating after putting a lot of efforts just save this chart as a template in using your future okay and so uh, friends that's all about the uh, beautiful 3d infographics in excel uh, please like subscribe share comment have a good day thanks for watching bye bye